good morning everyone i am sendil kumar assistant professor erod arts and science college today i discuss the topic corporate accounting first meaning of company company form of ownership <coughs> there are generally three form of ownership first one sole trader second one partnership firm third one company or corporate from this company form of corporate form play the major role in the overall economy in the country this chapter focus on company form of ownership and the format of financial statement before understanding company final account is the important to through the light of basic features of the company what is company a company is where a group of people undertake business together and agree to share the profit and losses when a big business is planned a single owner or partner might not have all funds in such situation company form of the ownership is most suitable registration of company or formation of company every company need to registered with the roc registered of the company under the company act 1956 a company can registered as unlimited liability limited liability limited liability to guarantee of members next two important two important document under the registration first one needed moe memorandum of association next one is article of association memorandum of association constitution of company it is include the name of the company state of the company objectives of the company statement of liability authority share capital authorized share capital details of subscribed to memorandum next article of association rule of internal management it is include issue of shares and debentures rights of members board of director their power remuneration etc shareholder meeting and etc private company compulsory registered of article of association can follow the article of association as per given in the table a of schedule 1 to the company act 1956 article of association is subordinate to memorandum of association next slide certificate after registration the roc is issue of certificate of incorporation public sector com- public sector companies also need to obtain the certificate commencement of business next types of company company can be public limited or limited or private limited public limited companies limited ltt at the end of the name of the company minimum 7 members and no limited maximum of numbers liability of members limited up to the amount contributed by them public limited companies issue of capital to public or large has to receive minimum subscription of 90 percentage in public are listed on stock exchange and can be traded traded private company private limited or pvt limited at end of the name of name of the company minimum 2 members and maximum 50 members 
limited liability to the extent of the capital brought in by the each members cannot issue capital to the public large these are not listed in the stock exchange next preliminary expenses or formation expenses expenditure incurred during the format of the company registration charges printing of memorandum of association and article of association stamp duty fees paid to the broker manager underwriter etc these are all expenses is called to preliminary expenses next board of directors board of directors look after the business of company generally promoters become the member of company director can be executive or non executive these categories all are called for board of directors next financial statement of company financial statement of company having four categories first one is trading account next one is profit and loss account next one is profit and loss appropriation account finally final account balance sheet meaning of balance sheet balance sheet prepared by the company have to either prepare horizontal or vertical balance sheet the format of both balance sheet are given in the part 1 of the schedule 4 of the company act 1956 simply balance sheet is prepared two types first one is horizontal model second one is vertical methods given some example of balance sheet items balance sheet is uh, divided two side first one is liability next one is asset liability is capital reserve and surplus secured loan and secured loan current liability and provisions current liability and provisions all over total is called for total liabilities on the side asset this side is appearing fixed as that investment current as that loans and advances next profit and loss debit balance debit balance means is la- company losses so this total is called asset next one is in case of company share capital brought by the promoters their friendly relatives and association by general public public company the entire capital company is divided into the share of fixed denomination those share are issued to the subscriber this is called for share capital this share capital is known share capital and each subscriber is known as a share holder this share holder get the share in profit of company in the form of dividend next division of share capitals first one is authorized capital authorized capital means capital mentioned in the memorandum of association maximum capital that the company can be raised next one is issued capital part of subscribed capital that is issued by the company next one is subscribed capital 
this amount of issued capital that is subscribed or purchased by the investors next one is called up capital that part of issue of capital that is called up from the investor to pay paid up capital that amount of capital which is paid up paid upon by the shareholders this is the amount mentioned in the balance sheet types of share capitals first one is free fund share capital this free fund share capital mean the holder having preferred rights one over the profit of company they receive dividend at the pre preferential rate they do not have voting rights next one is types of capital equity share capitals the holder having claim over profit after the preference shareholders they get dividend only when a profit earned depends upon the amount of profit earned they have voting rights they bear the ma- maximum risk hence there are real owner of the company next one is reserve and surplus reserve or portion of earning of the company which are set of part by management for the general or specific purpose surplus is the credit balance of profit and loss account that is a retain in the business reserve and surplus are belong to the equity shareholder and part of owner equity reserve and surplus some example here sir sir capital reserve sir premium general reserve capital redemption reserve debenger redemption reserve singing fund next secured loan sir capital and reserve and surplus are own fund where are secured or unsecured loans borrowed for borrowed fund or loan fund secured loan loans advised by the company against the secured of one or more asset company secured loan some examples here term loan from bank financial institutions working capital loan debenture interest accrued and due different securities loan addition added this unsecured loan these are loans fund advisable by the company without any secured backing them example fixed deposit debenture unsecured secured deposit loan from bank unsecured interest accrued and due on any secured loan in include therein current liabilities current liability or those which is accrued in the day to day business in activities examples sundry creditors expenses payable advice from the customer unclaimed dividend interest accrued but not due provisions provisions are set aside for the any known liabilities some examples provision for taxation provision for benefits of employee proposed dividend provision for tax on proposed dividend provision for contingency
ఫిక్స్డ్ అసెట్స్ అసెట్స్ ఆఫ్ లాంగ్ టైమ్ నేచర్ ఫార్ ఫార్మింగ్ బేసిక్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ బై ద కంపెనీ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ల్యాండ్ బిల్డింగ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ వెన్ సర్ప్లస్ ఫండ్ ఆర్ బుట్ ఇన్ టు ద సార్ ఆర్ డిపెంజర్ హోల్డర్ ఆఫ్ ద కంపెనీ ఆర్ గవర్నమెంట్ కరెంట్ అసెట్స్ లోన్స్ అండ్ అడ్వాన్సెస్ కరెంట్ అసెట్స్ అసెట్స్ ఆఫ్ షార్ట్ టైమ్ నేచర్ అక్యూర్డ్ డే టు డే బిజినెస్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ స్టాక్ డెటార్ క్యాష్ అండ్ బ్యాంక్ కరెంట్ అసెట్స్ లోన్స్ అండ్ అడ్వాన్సెస్ లోన్స్ అండ్ అడ్వాన్సెస్ అడ్వాన్సెస్ ఎం అడ్వాన్సెస్ టు ఎంప్లాయీ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ మేడ్ ఇన్ అడ్వాన్సెస్ ఇండస్ట్ పెయిడ్ ఇన్ అడ్వాన్సెస్ సెక్యూర్ సెక్యూరిటీ టు ద గవర్నమెంట్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఇండర్ కార్పొరేట్ డెపాసిట్స్ మిస్లేనియస్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ దట్ ఈస్ ప్రొవైడ్ లాంగ్ టైమ్ బెనిఫిట్ ఆఫ్ ద కంపెనీ there are mention at the amount to the extent there are not written no written off examples large scale advertisement expenditure preliminary expenses underwriting expenses profit and loss it is nothing but to the loss of incurred by the company profit and loss appropriation account the company profit and loss have the as a third component called profit and loss appropriation the net profit transferred to the to this account from the net profit reserve is created and provisions in made for proposed dividend income tax a company is legal entity and liable liable to the pay income tax irrespective of the all income of shareholders hence income tax expenses are provided for the profit and loss thank you thank you for everyone